So this is it. We're just like off brand Bo Burnham now. I'm into it. Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. I continue to be astonished by the likelihood that somebody behaving like a first name bunch of numbers on Twitter or Reddit will actually have a first name bunch of numbers username. You want to know something weird? The Fault in Our Stars came out 11 years ago today. What what a strange 11 years it's been. Sometimes when I'm really stressed out, I'll think like, you know what though? Like, you're not a computer. No wonder you're anxious. Like, you're a monkey wearing a jacket trying to make a YouTube video. What a strange situation to be in. But right, about The Fault in Our Stars, it makes me really happy to know that people are still finding that book and reading it as a story instead of as like part of some larger cultural phenomenon that includes Saturday Night Live skits and everything. It's just so lovely that it is still in print and still finding people. It's been around almost as long as the Doritos Locos Taco. Hey, so this is a literary device called foreshadowing. Lately, I've been thinking about the fact that throughout history, most people had absolutely no idea what was going on inside of the body. Like, there was this doctor, and a few hundred years ago, he published a paper that was like, what happens when a human being swallows a pin? We don't know. It might come out of the tummy. It might come out of the leg. It might come out in the pee. It's a magic. And that makes me wonder, like, what do we not know that would be very obvious if only we had a way to know it? Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming to my show tonight. You know what really grinds my gears? Prepositions. People will be like, you live in a country, but on an island, because countries are made up human ideas, whereas islands are ineluctable geographic realities. But if I'm not mistaken, like, it's all an island? Like, this is a water planet with some islands on it. It's all just human constructs. Like, if you zoom out, Earth itself is an island in an ocean of space. Everything is an island. We're not living on Earth or on the continent of North America. We are living in these things. I demand an end to the tyranny of onness. Sometimes I read this stuff on the subreddit, I'm 14 and this is deep, and I think... Actually, this is kind of deep, and y'all are just jaded. This is the chair where I write all day. I'm used to looking from it, not at it. But it's, it's a good little chair, and it's got my favorite painting right there. And I can just look at it, and I'm carried away. Lately, I've been making these strange little wobbly closed forms. Hold on, let's cut to the pottery lab. I'm very much a beginner at pottery, but basically I just take a lump of clay, center it as best I can, and then make a closed form that is hollow on the inside. Like when they're drying, they look like this. And then after they're glazed and fired, they look like this. The idea is that these are secret keepers, like you whisper things that are difficult or worrisome or traumatic or whatever into the little holes in the bottom, and then the worry or trauma lives inside of the closed form and not inside of your head. Does it work? No, probably not, but I, I like it conceptually. And then when I'm all done making the secret keeper and I've whispered the secret into it, I kind of like holding the pottery in my hand and looking at it and thinking, oh, wow. I survived you. Hank, thanks for keeping it fresh for 16 years and counting. I'll see you on Friday.